Hello and welcome to our first video tutorial on how to connect the Zoom H4n to your computer. This will allow you to have a much better sound quality during online teaching or broadcasting. We as musicians had to switch now entirely to working from home and the Zoom H4n has been extremely helpful. That is why we'd like to share our experience with you. A lot of people don't know that the Zoom H4n could also be used as a USB audio interface, which means you could have the best quality of the recorder into your computer. So now we are going to show you how to connect the Zoom H4n into your computer step by step. Just to let you know, the Zoom H4n doesn't need batteries to make the USB connection. Make sure you have the correct USB cable which usually comes with your Zoom device. For this tutorial we are using Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. Now we are going to show you how to check your computer sound frequency setting. First, press Start button or the Windows button and click the setting menu. Choose the system menu and then go to the sound menu. From here, click the sound control panel button which you can find on the right side of the window. In the new opened window, choose the playback tab and find your default device speaker. In our case, it is the speaker with Realtek High Definition Audio. When you find it, click its properties. In the new window, open the Advanced tab and check on which frequency your computer set. Is it 41 kHz or 48 kHz? Ours is set on the 24-bit with 48 kHz. If your setting is different from ours, don't change it. You'll have to adjust your Zoom device accordingly later. Press OK and keep the windows open while we are going to the Zoom device. Let us connect the Zoom device with the USB cable. Remember to connect it properly and here you can see, the Zoom device will turn on automatically when you connect it with the computer. It has only two options, storage if you want to connect your SD card and files in it, or audio interface. Scroll and choose the audio interface. It will open another menu with two other options frequency and connect. First, choose frequency. You can see there are only two options, 44.1 and 48 kilohertz. Choose the same frequency which your computer has and then click connect. After a while, you will see the level meter screen. If there is no response of sound, Remember to choose the input from the mic button to use the integrated microphone. A little advice from us, we always set the max volume at the minus 6 decibel. In that way, you will have the most acceptable sound volume, especially if you are giving an online lesson, which needs a greater volume than a normal speaking level. Just bear with us for another moment and let us go to the computer screen again. Go to the opened window on screen which is still on the sound control panel. Now, let us open the microphone tab. Here you will see a new device besides your default microphone device which is the Zoom Recorder Mixer. Right click on it and set it as default device so it will be automatically connected for the next time. Click its properties and go to the advanced tab. Now make sure the default format is on the two channel for stereo mode 
with the same frequency as we already set from the beginning. That's it! Now you're officially connected with the Zoom H4n as a USB interface. Now we are going to change the microphone setting on the Skype and Zoom online application. After you open and log in into your Skype account, open the setting menu and go to the audio and video setting. It will activate your camera and below the video screen you will see the audio section. Change the microphone setting and choose the Zoom recording mixer as your microphone device. You can keep the automatically adjust microphone setting on to make it easy. If you want to hear the quality of your microphone, just use the make a free test call button and listen to the instructions. After you finish, just close the setting window. At last, we are going to the Zoom application. Go to your account picture on the top right side of the window. Choose and click Settings button to open another window. Choose the audio section and change the microphone setting to the Zoom recording mixer. You will see the volume meter will respond to the Zoom device microphone. To finish, close the window to save the setting. If you would like us to make more videos on how to connect the Zoom H4n to your mobile devices and more, please like, subscribe and turn on your alarm notification so you know that we are uploading a new video for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.